back to our top story, though, and death threats against our local Sussex MPs. That notion of, you know, I know where you live and I'm, I'm coming for you felt then so, so very threatening. A man who sent chilling and sinister death threats to the Eastbourne MP there, Caroline Ansell, is due to be sentenced today. Uh, she's made security changes as a, res as a result. The threat is real, and we have already seen one MP lose her life and in such terrible, terrible circumstances. So it is real, and it has happened. And so things do change, and I have been, obviously, you know, I've needed to be now very mindful about my team and, and about my family, and so, you know, we have been, uh, you know, vigilant and, and made, you know, greater sort of security uh, arrangements. But I'm, I'm determined that it won't change the way that I operate. Caroline Ansell isn't alone. At least two of our other MPs have had threats. And what's more, the threats are becoming more and more violent in nature. I've had death threats this week. And it does make you question, why, why are you doing this? And of course, in the last year, we've uh, had evidence of, of how credible some of those threats can be. Just before one o'clock today, Joe Cox, MP for Batley and Spembra, was attacked in Market Street, Bristol. I am now very sad to have to report that she has died as a result of her injuries. Well, let's talk live to two uh, of our MPs now. Tim Lawton uh, from East Worthing and Shoreham. Morning, Tim. Morning, Neil. And uh, Maria Caulfield, uh, the uh, MP for Lewis. Morning, Maria. Morning. Yeah, I mean, we, we heard we, very briefly about yours. Can you can you tell us, Maria, about, about that, those death threats? Well, I, I mean, I've had uh, threats uh, since being elected. Um, I've had my tyres slashed. I've had death threats with... Um, images sent about what you know people would like to do to me uh, I've had graffiti um, and the office um, uh, you know graffitied um, and so it does make you worry not just for your own safety but for those who work for you as well yeah so I mean it's not just a threat is it these are actual acts carried out against you yeah no absolutely yeah does it make but, you frightened well it does and I think as a new MP we've come to expect this to be what happens to MPs but I know from talking to colleagues like Tim that actually this is quite a new phenomenon and um, you know it, it seems to be getting worse people seem very angry and they want to take it out on MPs yeah Tim what about you personally I mean are the, the the sort of threats against you well I think I've, I've been lucky compared to some of my colleagues I mean I've had some pretty vile stuff but um, nearly all on social media and people posting doctored photographs of your children and pictures of your house and things like that but that's not nearly as bad as obviously what happened to other um, colleagues and what's happened more recently to to caroline and, and some of the physical violence that, that maria's had to, uh, had to to cope with and i mean these people are just complete morons who think that they can do anything just because you are um an mp and, and we should take it and we are just ordinary people trying to do a slightly extraordinary um, job, and whatever the conflict of views and policies we may have, they cannot be resolved by threats of, uh, of violence. And particularly when you've got new MPs, particularly when you've got single uh, MPs and, and women, it can be exceedingly mm. uh, intimidating. We're really saying that, that it seems to have changed. The tone of these seems to have changed uh, over the last couple of years or so. Have you got any sort of reason why that might be? Well, I think it's no doubt linked to the fact that we've got a Conservative government at the, uh, at the moment. Um, I know before I became an MP in 1997, and certainly during the days of Mrs Thatcher, where there were obviously some quite contentious things going on, then our constituency office um, used to get uh, vandalised and the, the locks would get um, uh, glued up and things like that. But, but never the extent of personal attacks on, uh, uh, on MPs. But I think, I think it's goaded a lot by social media. That, that people feel that they can put anything on social um, media. There are no um, limits, and we, all the problems we have now with hate crime and everything uh, that we've done studies in into Parliament as, uh, as well. And that, I think, gives a feeling to people to encourage them mm -hmm. that you can actually go out and be physically abusive uh, to, uh, to people in positions of, uh, of, of elected authorities uh, as well. I think social media's got a lot to, to do with it. It's a small minority. Let's not get carried away uh, with this, but it can be really intimidating for somebody just trying to do their job. Absolutely. And, and Maria, that, that small minority can have a huge impact on you. You said, you said obviously, it's, it's, it's frightening. I mean, I think anybody... I mean, if I, someone gave me a death threat, and thank God they haven't yet, uh, but, you know, if you're in that pr profile position, I think this is, is a possibility. But did you ever think I don't want to be an MP anymore, or did you ever consider it? 
Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, I came from uh, right up until the election in 2015, I was working full time as a nurse. And nurses are one of those professions where everyone loves nurses. And particularly in the field of cancer care, which I work, you know, you, you felt really proud to go to work and people were really pleased to see you to suddenly overnight being um, getting death threats and actual, you know, you're seeing your car vandalised and uh, your office vandalised. Um, it's, a, it's a huge change. And you do think, actually, do I need this? You know, I, I really enjoyed being a nurse and I could so easily go back to doing that. Um, but, you know, then they, the, those haters win then uh, and that, that would be the easy thing to do. OK, Tim Lawson, Maria Caulfield, thanks very much indeed. In just a moment, we're going to speak to Di Davies, who's the former head of, of Royalty Protection Command for Scotland Yard. We'll get his take on what MPs can do to protect themselves. <laughs>